Well, Venezuela's political crisis dominated the headlines in 2019, and that's continuing into 2020. This was the view outside the National Assembly on Sunday afternoon. What was happening inside was that they were voting for the head of the National Assembly. Outside, they were blocking the entry of the incumbent, Juan Guaido, for a re-election bid. Now, what happened afterwards was that a group of legislators met at the headquarters of a newspaper, 100 out of 167 voting in favour for Juan Guaido to retain his position. While all of this was going on, the internet was cut, according to Netblocks, who monitors internet connectivity, saying that the state-run provider cut it for two and a half hours during uh, that particular disruption of legislators being barred from entering the Congress. That was something that weaved through 2019, again looking to continue into 2020. But that didn't stop leaders and officials from other countries weighing in on social media. The likes of Secretary of State in the US, Mike Pompeo, again backing Juan Guaido. They view Juan Guaido as the interim president, but also the foreign affairs minister within Argentina saying on social media that they rejected the fact that the uh, Juan Guaido was blocked from entering, going on to say that they need to elect its president with full legitimacy. But the European Union also issued a statement, external affairs of the European Union. They pointed to something else. They said it is a new step in the deterioration of the crisis within the country. Because in 2019, we had two men that were calling, calling themselves president. Now in 2020, at the start of it, we have two men that view themselves uh, the head of the National Assembly.